Hello and welcome to another E4 Clicks Project Estimator training video. Hope you're doing excellent today. Today we're going to talk about e takeoff integration. So, what is e takeoff? So, visual estimating, right? We uh, partner with a different company called e takeoff to get us our electronic takeoff abilities. Okay, so e takeoff, amazing people, amazing programmers do a fantastic job. So, what we do is we use E4 Clicks and we connect to e-takeoff and we make them talk to each other to make it easy to get quantities back into e4 clicks after visually drawing over an electronic plan all right so different company um, they have their own training they have some amazing stuff e-takeoff uh, website is awesome incredible people um, so pretty awesome so we're going to talk about how to connect the two products, okay? See how to go back and forth and do that kind of stuff. We're not going to get in crazy detail about how to use eTakeoff because they have way better references than we could ever create. So they have tons of videos and stuff on that on their website and stuff. So just awesome. All right, so let's take a peek at how to do some. How, let's do. We're going to do a couple of installation tips just to kind of get you rolling that way in case you have any questions on that. Um, and then we're going to get out into actually using it. So grabbing a quantity from eTakeoff and then coming back to E4 Clicks, okay? So, a couple of installation tips. When you install E4 Clicks, it only installs E4 Clicks. It does not automatically install eTakeoff, okay? It's a separate program with a separate executable to um, create the installation, that kind of deal, okay? Um, and I'm going to show you a couple of references because it'll give you a little heads up on how to find the meat of in installation stuff where we're not going to be able to spend time on that in this video. So if we go up to File and Explore and Programs, this is where we're going to find the eTakeoff e installation programs. Okay, So we're going to basically be in wherever you installed it, E4 Clicks. Remember, Estimator is the training um, program here that we use, but this would say E4 Clicks and then Programs. So you could drive down there as well. And then inside of Programs folder, we have different uh, programs you may have. Basically, it's going to be eTakeoff. Inside of this Programs folder, I've got an actual setup file. You probably will only see two shortcuts. Okay, These are URL shortcuts. So to the latest and greatest eTakeoff setup file and the latest and greatest eTakeoff update file. Okay, so the very first time you install eTakeoff, you would use the setup. If you wanted to update to the latest version of eTakeoff, which you should do every once in a while, we'll try to put that in the newsletter and stuff when the new ones are coming out. But you'll come back over here, and you're going to run the update, and this will go out and download the latest update file to give you the, the latest and greatest file. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so that's where to find the files. Now let me show you where to find how to what to do with those files, right? So if we come back up here, you see Browse and References. We've got two awesome different references down here, all right? The installation guide has everything you're going to look for uh, in regards to installation. So E4 Clicks, E Takeoff, etc. Um, there's also a nice one down here, E4 Clicks, E Takeoff. So we pulled the chapter out of the user's manual and put it right in, in here into a nice little PDF. So this is going to touch base on some of the installation stuff as well as uh, what we're going to cover in this video of going back and forth between the two. So great, great references to come to. Okay, And again, that was Browse and References, and it's the E4 Clicks documents. Okay, uh, Biggest thing is, even if you install E4 Clicks on a server, um, so if you uh, go out to a server to use your E4 clicks, you're still going to install eTakeoff on your local desktop unless you're remoting in somewhere, so like a terminal server or something like that. So if you're remoting in somewhere, then eTakeoff will be installed where you're remoting into, so on that, on that computer over there. Okay. So, But a lot more details inside of those two documents. All right, let's figure out how to use this bad boy, shall we? So what we're going to do here is we're just going to walk through a couple different ways to go out and quantify our line items using drawings, okay? Just like we've done forever with a ruler and, a, and red pencils and doing all that kind of stuff, okay? So I'm starting in here inside of a project on the Estimates tab, 
renovate room, all right? It's going to be familiar if you've watched any of the other videos. And I'm going to do a couple of things um, and just kind of some of it has been from other videos. Some of it I'm going to teach you a couple of new stuff if you're really sharp there and looking. But I'm going to um, copy an existing pro estimate that we have and then going to do some cool stuff. So I'm going to hit Control-Y to clone this, okay? And let's renovate the staff area, okay? So I'm going to jump in to the renovate staff area. Now this came in with quantities and notes and takeoffs. I'm going to clear all that stuff. So I'm going to hit a control A to clear that stuff off. And I don't know if I've shown you batch modify before, but under process tag line items and batch modify, we've got some pretty cool stuff. All right. On the clear values tab, I'm going to clear all these values, quantities, notes, takeoff. And basically I'm going to use all the line items I found in a previously, but I'm going to start from scratch. Okay. Now we're going to jump in and we're going to use e takeoff to quantify instead of using some of the, the takeoff, using math of the takeoff field. All right. So we could do it one at a time or we can do groups at a time. Let's start with one at a time. I'll show you that first and then we'll geek it up a little bit. All right. So let's go, let's do the eaches. Okay. So these are the code base corners, if we can remember. So we got eaches here, one to demo and one to install. All right. So I'm going to open up the line item, just hit enter there to open up that line item. And I'm going to come in here and in the quantity we've seen before, we could just type in a quantity if we wanted to, we could use the takeoff formula if we wanted to, but now we're actually going to right click in here. I know it's going to shock some people, right? And then we're going to go down to the e takeoff cascading menu option down here. Okay. Now, if you do not have this e takeoff menu option, that means it's not installed. Okay, and the license hasn't been set here, so you're going to want to go back to those references we talked about and get it installed correctly, and then you'll see this menu option. Okay, awesome. So e takeoff, and then let's go and grab the quantity from e takeoff. All right, so we're going to grab the quantity. Boom, boom, boom. Now what this happened is it's going to automatically open up e takeoff for us. So we're not going to ins uh, open up e takeoff. Uh, directly, we're going to go into E4 Clicks, and E4 Clicks is going to open up E Takeoff. Okay, so we're not going to go do that. In fact, you want to do it this way to make sure all the licensing gets figured out and everything, because you're um, going to get the licenses for E Takeoff through E4 Clicks. Okay, so this opens up E Takeoff, and we're ready to roll. Now I'm not going to get again to everything that we're going to do here, so I'm going to go a little bit fast through some of the stuff because I don't want to teach you how to use e takeoff, I want to teach you how to use e4 clicks, okay, and the, the interaction between the two. So we're, this is the area that we're going to do right here, okay. So I'm just going to delete that measurement so it's not there, but that's the room that we're going to do, okay. So here's our little uh, classroom building that we're doing, okay, and we're going to just look at this room and we're going to do the dimensions off of there, all right. So I'm going to zoom back in here real quick, and I'm going to do a new measurement. All right. So we can do an area, a count, a length, or a perimeter. Okay. Area is going to get the area. Count is going to get the number of points that we use. Length will do all of the length from the beginning to the end, but it won't close the first and last. Perimeter will close the first and last. Now I know we're looking for count, but I'm going to do something a little crazy. I'm going to go with area because I'm going to show you something pretty cool. So now we're just going to go around the room and we're doing this. Now if you're zoomed out a little bit, you can click and hold and that'll zoom in for you that kind of stuff. But we're zoomed in, so it's not going to do much for us. But we're basically going to go around the room, and then when we're done, we're going to go hit select. Okay? So if we go clockwise, it's a positive area. If we go counterclockwise, it's a negative area. All right? Pretty sweet. So what happened? Even though I did an area, I'm actually getting four different values, all four of those that we talked about real quick. In this case, we carry about the point, right? the number of points as opposed to the other stuff. So the next step we're going to do is just simply right click, uh, awesome, and return to estimating with the quantity. When we do that, we come right back to where we were inside of E4 clicks. Now when we right click in the quantity and look at E takeoff, it has those four values waiting for us. So we're going to go grab the points. Perfect. All right, now we can click OK and we're golden. Let's notice real quick that when we go get a quantity, a value from e takeoff, and they're tied together now. So we're going to get a little um, black E with a yellow background that says, hey, 
this quantity, this four, came from E takeoff. Okay, so I'm just going to swing over to E takeoff. I'm going to jump out here and I'm going to highlight this different measurement and I'm going to close E takeoff real quick. Okay, now this E lets me know that it's going to be tied together. So I'm going to go to E takeoff and I'm going to say drill down. Drill down will say, hey, where in the world did that cat get four? Okay, what this will do is it'll open up E takeoff, go to the right project, go to the right drawing, and then highlight the correct measurement right there. And boom, we're back right there. And then we can see, oh, that's how they came up with it. Pretty sweet? All right. So I'm going to swing back over here to E4 clicks. Now let's go get that other each, okay? I'd like to go through the process a couple times, right? Repetition is one of the keys to learning. So we're going to open it up. We're going to right click. We're going to E takeoff. If we wanted to go get the quantity, we could grab the quantity from eTakeoff. It would open it up and go get it, right? Now, we already grabbed it, and we can now use the load most recently grabbed eTakeoff quantity. So that'll load that back up. We can come right back in here, and we can go, let's grab the points. Pretty cool, huh? And if we think about it, we've got those loaded up for us, so we can actually go, hey, let's go get the area. So... I'm going to cheat a little bit, and I'm going to do the query. I don't know if I've showed you the query. But what this is going to do is it's going to look for S dot F dot in several different fields. I'll flash them up there real quickly for you. Um, but what that will do is it will filter out our list of line items so we can get to stuff quickly. In the unit of measure, it found SF for all of these. The square yards and the thousand square feet were found because our unit of measure that we put in, our user unit of measure, was square feet even though the extended was square yards. So you'd have to check out a different video to see what we did there. But I hit control A to tag all of these, okay? I'm gonna come back to batch modify. This time I'm gonna stay on the first tab, modify quantity. Obviously there's a lot of tabs that do some cool stuff that we're not getting into here. This first one modifies the quantity, right? The action that we're gonna perform is actually to replace the existing quantity with X whatever we put in here, all right? So we could type something in, or we can jump down to eTakeoff, and we have those same options. So let's load that back up, right-click, eTakeoff, and let's do the area. So this is going to pop the area in here. When we click Process, what this does is say, hey, let me preview those options, all right, what we're doing here. So all these line items, we originally went from zero quantity. We're going to go to this quantity. But from this dollars, we're going to go to these dollars, and there's the variance. So we get to process, preview, and now we're going to apply that. So now they all have the E next to them, and they all have some values in there. Pretty sweet? All right, and it did the unit to measure conversion and everything. Let's go back up to query here. Let me untag these real quick. So I hit control U to untag those, and let's do the linear footage, right? So let's do the cove base, the perimeter of the room. So let's tag these. Hotkey for batch modify is control M. We're going to replace the existing quantity again. So E take off, load that back up, and this time let's grab the perimeter. Okay, so this will go around the room for us. Process, preview, and apply. And we got it. So let's go control U. Let's clear out our query field. And now we see we've got all of these figured out except for these two, right? They don't have an e-takeoff value on them. Now you can do some fancy stuff with e-takeoff and do some extra calculations and stuff. I'll let you figure that out with the e-takeoff folks, obviously. But we're going to go in here and let's finish these last two. So let's open it up. Let's do one week. And let's jump in here. And let's just fill up our dumpster for fun. All right, so six cubic yards of rubbish handling. All right, and so then we've gone through and we've quantified again. All right, anytime you have copied and pasted or started with something, you want to make sure that you own your estimate, okay? So make sure uh, the weight of your carpet is the right one, that you've got the right materials and all of this. Take a look at all of the A's here. So these are adjustment items, right? Modifiers from the book. So make sure you walk through that process to get exactly what you want to, um, to ensure that your scope is perfectly met. Okay, and there's some good videos out there that show that the adjustments and modifiers video will show you how to do those and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so what we did is we checked out e takeoff. We looked at some installation tips. We saw how to grab a quantity one at a time and multiple at a time. 
from eTakeoff and then come back to return to E4 Clicks to pop that into the line item that we wanted to apply it to. Okay, so hopefully this video helped you out. Please watch it again multiple times if you need to. Um, check out those references. And then as always, you can always come to the technical support team and get some more information and some more help. All right, so we hope you have a fantastic, fantastic day. Thanks so much.